All right, guys, welcome back. It is day two here at Lake Folsom for Yak Bass and also the KBF Trail. And so far, we're doing pretty good. Uh, we are in the top 10 as of right now. So if we get five more fish for today, we'll most likely be in the top 10. Nothing really going on. I, I did put some pieces of the puzzle together yesterday, which was to, uh, you know, focus kind of shallow. Um, hopefully the wind is there for us and it, it kind of looks like it is. And really try to capitalize on the early morning bite. Yesterday, I did not do that. I did not capitalize on that morning, but um, hopefully we get on to so. So stay tuned guys, see if we can get five today. <laughs> All right, guys, 7.30 lines in. That feels better than a different rod. There's a fish. there you can start to daddy it's good we'll start get 15 and a half right there all right guys first on the morning 16.75 so one Right, good one. Two, get fourteen and a half. Fourteen. All right, guys. 1575, fish number two. There's a fish right there. All right, keeper number three. All right, guys, fish number three, 13 and a half. You know, with, the, with this wind, this bite is pretty good. I mean, 
everybody's gonna be catching right now. Unlike yesterday, it's it's a lot different. So that's why it was really important to squeeze out a limit on day one. Just so you could be far away from everybody else in the standings. There's a fish right there. Little guy, but uh, I'm happy to have you. All right, guys, fish number four, 13 and a half. Oh, there's a bite right there. Very nice cast. There's like a better fish too. This one is just pushing all these fish on these this point right here. I wish I would have capitalized a little bit more yesterday, similar to this. Uh, that's what that's what I get for not practicing, right? <laughs> Come practice, you learn all this stuff. <sighs> oh, big old smolly. Damn, I guess 16, yeah, 16 and a half. All right, guys, keep it on five, 17 and a quarter. that's a lot of weight off the shoulders when you get five early it was about 8 15 so i think it's 8 15. eight nineteen. we got our limit already I just turned off my camera to reel it in and then uh, he hit it on the way back in. That's a cool fish right there. Alright guys, 15 inch or big old gut on her. You know, I threw the rip bait yesterday a little bit, but I decided to start out early with it because yesterday I noticed I got a really big follower on a spy bait, and I think I'm just reeling it too fast, so I decided to do a rip bait, and sure enough, it was good. Uh, yes, I caught him on an A-Rig early in the morning yesterday too, but it was just getting snagged too much. I think this was perfect around these brush this, this, on this point very, the brush is very light but it's more uh, sticky rocks so the Avery just tends to just fall right into those cracks and stay down there
There's a fish. Might call, might be a 14 and three quarters or something. Hi right, guys, 14 inch. Another one. Fourteen quarter. I don't know what my smallest one is, but every quarter inch counts. Alright guys, fourteen a quarter. Oh no, the wind's changing direction. Why? It's not supposed to do this. I actually need the wind blowing into this point, not away from it. And change the bite up a lot man ever since that wind changed my bite just went away <sighs> you know that's the thing the importance of wind it's, it's crazy you know some lakes it's it's good you know if you're at a spot and you're babysitting on a hump it's cool that there's wind change that's actually you know, I prefer wind change when I'm fishing a hump or offshore really far, but not when I'm fishing the banks or a point. The reason why is because fish position different or they move according to the wind. If they're fishing, if you're, if you're fishing offshore, you know, uh, sitting on a certain structure, they're not going to move. They're just going to face different. But when you're fishing up shallow, these fish tend to move. You know, this thing about the shallow, the wind affects them so much that if you go to a certain spot and you know there's fish in that area and and you fish them a lot, you know how they are or you know when they feed according to the wind. There's, you know, a lot of those guys that do it really good, uh, they time it right and they know the wind is blowing in a certain area they're going They'll, know, they'll go over there and catch all their fish. But they know they're not having a waste of time. If the wind is not blowing how they like, they're not having a waste of time, even though they know there's fish there. You know. <sighs> yes, uh, when you're fishing offshore, wind is what you want, and wind change is what you want. When it's really windy, and then you're sitting on your best spot offshore, and you got wind change, you're usually gonna get your better or more bites during that time. But not so much when you're fishing shallow. Shallow, <laughs> these fish aren't hanging to anything really. They're just up here feeding and, you know, according to what the wind blows, they move. Alright, it's not working out. I'm gonna go position myself a little different. Yeah. 
one little little spot. Why is it jumping so much? Like that. A little inner span. Oh, it looks all busted. It's gonna be hard to close his mouth for the photo. All right, guys. Fourteen point seven five. There's a bite right there. How did it they get robbed? <sighs> Gonna go 14 inches. Fish. Oh, it came off. Damn. Why did it come off? What the heck? Oh, it came off. since my morning bite died I was not able to get a bite I don't think it'll call though I think my small is 14 three quarters nope he's too small 14 inches 14 inches guys There's fish in this lake, right? <laughs> Finally. That's a nice one. 
Yeah, it's okay. That'd be like a 14. You guys, you guys as well. Ah, 14 and a half. So I'm gonna cut it. Like a better fish, too. Oh, yeah. Better fish. Oh, man. Why is he doing so much? Oh, yeah. I think that one's gonna call. <sighs> Hopefully he calls. Yeah, it's so short. Fat though, nice brown one. <sighs> Come on. Oh, that's a good. She wasn't coming loose. Guys, guys, let me see. Oh, yeah, 15 incher. Okay, I got all 15s, a 16, and a 17. All right, guys, that's a good call. 15 and a quarter. Another bite. Oh, I'm very next to cows too. Oh, it's a better fish. Very next to cows. Short, it's fat. Let's see. She, she makes me cut. Ooh, she does. She's gonna be a 15. And a 15 and a quarter. Alright, guys. Good call. 15 and a half. Uh, you know, this is a point that comes out. Just, it's a small point that comes out, but it's really flat. There's some rock piles out there, and out here it's kind of flat, and there's some brush around. And that's what I think the I told them the fish is these deep brush. I thought they were going to be up shallower in the shallow brush, but um, they're not. They're actually out a little deeper, and probably about six to ten feet. And. Uh, yeah, this point has been getting beat up by the wind all day. There's a fish right there. And these fish are just piling up here now. It's probably... It's not gonna help me, but... I'm sure it's nice to get bit. It's the point that comes out. There's just brush all around, rock piles out there. But they're not on the rock piles. It's weird. I remember last year uh, when I fished, or well, two years ago when I fished the event here, uh, all the fish were on the rock piles and they were just loaded with them. 
And right now, what been doing the trick for me is an one eight ounce uh, Cool Baits underspin. This is with the purple head. And I kind of like the purple head for these little guys, uh, just because it's a little different. You know, I think they see that color and then they just uh, get drawn to it. Either that or the chartreuse head. The purple seems to work pretty good for me. sit down there pick it up feels like a good one oh it came off ah, gosh man that was a big one I got a good look at it too Man, let's think about throwing these small little baits with small little hooks. That sucks. That one stings right there. Stings a lot. I got a really good look at that fish. That is a good 18, 19 inch fish right there. Ah, it is what it is, right? Sometimes those, sometimes that happens. But what can you do, right? I mean, you play everything right, and you just, sometimes you just can't control those things, and they just come off. You know, you got a clean hook set on it. You know, I, I felt like I kept enough pressure on it to peg that hook in, but it's such a small hook. It's, it's pretty much your crappie jig, and it's hard to keep those fish pinned on it. <sighs> That was a bummer. Man, that one haunts me. That one's gonna haunt me for a while. Really big fish. How come you stayed on the other one didn't? What the heck? See these these other ones you can pull in pretty easy, but the other one that came off, man. Big head shakes on it. It's gonna be 15 and a quarter. I think 15 and a quarter is the smallest one. Oh, is it 15 and a half? All right, guys, 15.75. All right, guys, it's 3.04. I'm gonna start heading back in so I make it in safe. Probably be on time, then I'm gonna get it dequeued. I'm being late or get deducted for being late, so I'm gonna start heading in early. All right, guys, it's a wrap for today. Oh, man, I want to say it was uh, it was much better today, for sure. The wind definitely helps. Uh, I got a lot of bites. Uh, I only ended up losing only one fish, and that was the one fish I needed. Uh, it usually just works out like that. You know, you, you grind all day, you, you finally get that bite, and you miss it, you know, or it comes off. And those things happen, so. I am bummed out about it, but, yeah, it is what it is, right? I, I land a majority of my fish, so. Uh, overall, I, I think I did pretty good. Um, I don't want to say I'm, I'm, I have like 79 or something, or 78, something like that, but hey, I did what I could and see, what, see how it turns out. So stay tuned, guys.